Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Caring Bus. So we done the actual compression check, uh, compression uh, check of the actual engine, and they actually um, look really healthy. Um, the cylinders. So today I struggled to take the actual thermostat out of the actual the housing down there. So finally got it out. The circuit clip was see somehow like doesn't want to move at all. So if you look the thermostat here, so it looks like it's never been opened before. It looks like it's See how it's actually sideways. It's not 100% fully locked. And look at that. I'm not sure what happened to the actual thermostat inside here, but it looks pretty smashed up. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so that's how it looks. So I'm not even gonna test it because it doesn't even look good. It doesn't even look good. It looks deformed. And look at that here. Not sure who done that <clears throat> that job before, but uh, looks really bad. Um, so that's a thermostat. So, but before we do anything, we're gonna. What I wanted because the car was always overheating. So, what I wanted to do is before I do the timing belt, is actually make sure that the actual car is not overheating at all. So, I will have removed the actual thermostat out, and we're gonna put some water in here. Just water for now because we're gonna pull the water pump out again and replace it. Put some water in there, and we're gonna run the car to make sure it's not overheating. If it's not overheating after this, then we don't have to worry about the head gasket. But judging by the actual compression of the engine, I don't think the head gasket is bad. I reckon this thermostat was seized, doesn't want to open and restrict the water flowing back to the actual radiator and going back to the engine. All right, thanks for watching. Actually, nah, I'll, put a, I'll pause it here, sorry. And then we're gonna put the spark, we're putting the spark plug back in and then put some water, we're gonna run it and we'll come back to it. All right, everything's back together now. We just started the car up now. Uh, we've got the extra thermostat removed. That's the one I'm talking about. Thermostat. It's pretty damaged. Alright. So we're going to run the car now until. Because the reason why we want to run it, we're going to make sure that it's not overheating. So we're going to make sure the problem is not it's not there anymore. If it doesn't overheat, then again we continue on with the timing belt and the, other, and the water pump we're going to change because everything's uh, getting a bit old. But uh, for now, we're going to want to press pause. I let it run for like about five, ten minutes, and then uh, we'll have a look at the needle if it's uh, going up. See, there it will just go straight up before the the hot, but the actual coolant level, the coolant uh, temperature we're talking about. All right, we're gonna monitor that, and then we'll come back and do another continue on the video. All right, temperature's going up really high, and I'm gonna show you what I found. The top house is top house is still cold, and that one's hot. Before I had not that was really cold. Before nothing, nothing. There's no circulation. So now I gotta check for any blockage on this side here. And then I found some other. I'll turn it off. What I found is a lot of oil leaks down here from the cam cover dropping onto the exhaust, creating smoke there. So. All right, I've got to address that later on, but I've got to actually take this one off and see if there's any blockage, blockage there. Um, there's a... If you look at that one there, that's 87 degrees. And that one there is 32 degrees, 33 degrees. So um, I've got to check for blockage on the line. And the radiator and one more thing the actual fan the fan did not even come on not at all not even once the fan still shut it should come on when it gets, uh, gets really hot the engine so i've got to check the actual fan speed and we've got to check the thermostat uh, sorry the thermal switch the circuit the electrical circuit sensing circuit for the actual fan um, to see what's going on but for now we'll leave at that and then we'll continue on with the next video so I'm going to check for any blockage. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.